our idea to bring you here just to give you the opportunity to discover a beautiful culture. Not just to be a tourist, but be a traveler. You guys are gonna see a lot of things that are super familiar to you, but also a lot of things that are not. And that's the beautiful thing of traveling getting to discover new things. Once we leave home, everything is going to be different. Oh my God. This is incredible. Since this is the first time for everybody in Panama, let me give you a little introduction of this beautiful place. Right here, we have 1700s, 1800s, the roots of this amazing country. Modern Panama there. It's like really two worlds. History turning into modern day, all within the same skyline. It's like your time traveling. Are you guys familiar with the term biodiversity? That means the diversity of organisms, but also their relationships in the different environment. And that's exactly what the rainforest is all about. Guys, sorry to interrupt you. Come, 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 come. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry. Hurry, hurry, everyone. What is it? It's a titi monkey. Oh it's super hard to find. Right here, see one right here. Wow, this is right out of my bio textbook. You know, it seems like some exotic animal. It's literally right here in front of us. Oh the good thing about this is we can have the classroom outside. To me, visiting a country like Panama, you definitely want to see how things run. <laughs> the Spanish people wanted the indigenous to believe in their gods. So they created this kind of mask to scare the indigenous and to make them believe in their religion. That's pretty much the origin of all the carnivals around the world. There's no uh, carnival without music. All of the colors and the, the masks and the devils dancing and the drums and everything starts getting very, very surreal. You're so good at that. Good dancers. Right now, I'm in a super beautiful farm, slightly outside Chichre, Panama. I really appreciate how everything is so dependent on each other. You appreciate the nature, you make use of the nature, you give back to nature. That's a really good cycle that I've really appreciated being here. In school, you might just learn about the canal, but it's a lot more than that. It's the people, like the families, like the biodiversity. It's a lot that we've learned so far. It's also just so fun. <laughs> oh. Oh, <wow. laughs> the real voyage of discovery consists not in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna continue with our wonderful journey through history and time. We're gonna have the chance to see one of the most colorful cultures of Panama. The first inhabitants of Panama, they're gonna be opening themselves to us. They're gonna offer uh, exactly who they are. So we need to embrace that, we need to accept it, and also we need to understand how it works. I mean, just completely immersing yourself in a different culture. It's something that I feel like everybody should do. It's better for someone to go into something like not knowing what we're gonna expect. And then once you do do it, then you grow that new pair of eyes, you gain that experience, and you overall develop a sense of what we're actually doing here and what you're actually experiencing for yourself. This experience has been as different from my own life as it could possibly be. And even though it's so out of my comfort zone, I'm so comfortable here. 
will always remember this trip, right, for the rest of your life. You might not remember, you know, third period on Thursday in chemistry class, but you'll remember Panama. <laughs>